Hello and welcome back to another run of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our series Diaries of Death. This is the second diary that we're going to open. In the first diary, uh, Hamza, the disciple of uh, Dibella, was uh, successful and actually became the champion of uh, the Companions. Today we're following the destiny of a different man. A uh, man who goes by the name of Ron, Ron the Snake. Uh, for those of you who haven't uh, seen the first episode, feel free to look it up. I go much more in detail into Requiem, Skyrim, uh, 3BF Tweaks and all of the modding <clears throat> behind the actual game. Suffice to say, this is a de permadeath run, which means one death will end the character. And we really uh, need to stay alive in Requiem, that won't be easy. So, let me talk a little bit about Ron the Snake. Ron the Snake uh, used to come from the south but needed to flee from the provinces of the Emperor. Uh, his well-tanned skin shows off his time that he has spent in the southern portions of Tamriel. Unfortunately for Ron, uh, the carriage that he has uh, taken towards Skyrim has leaked and he went into a pretty severe accident. In his desperation, he prayed uh, to whatever Daedra was uh, listening to him. He did not want to die and hence he gave uh, his soul uh, away in exchange for extra powers. Ron is going to be a normal uh, person, but we're playing him uh, as a disciple. Uh, of here we go Mephala Mephala is one of uh, those entities who is a bit underused I feel uh, they grant immunity to poison and grant the ability to actually increase your uh, the toxicity quality of all of your poisons so um, Ron will value that and will become kind of uh, the best poison uh, assassin that uh, we could think of. Ron and the idea behind the build is to use Mephala uh, that basically give uh, she basically gives immunity to um, oh no resistance to um, uh, toxicity and we compare uh, combine that with the burst uh, sign the serpent another one that is uh, quite underused the birth uh, sign uh, serpent or stone of uh, the serpent allows you to get the poison spit attack uh, so we do have that it additionally uh, gives you immunity to poison so that came from here and not from mephala um, it's called poison skin and it allows you to over time create more and more um, uh, charges uh, for your poison weapons so uh, the more poisons we are creating uh, the more charges uh, they uh, will take before depleting. At the end, I think it's a bonus charge of five or six, so quite substantial. If you're poisoning your weapon, it will stay on for a long, long period of time. But I think we need to craft 350 uh, poisons, so that'll take a while. And I'm not sure if Ron will see the light of day. As it stands, we do have the option to shed the skin, which removes all of the poison resistance that we gain from it but increases the damage dealt with poison spells and applied poisons and that's exactly what we're going to do there is no graphical effect in it uh, we no longer have the skin active but we do now have the ability for stronger poisons so this by the way is the poison spit i've tried it a couple of times uh, before starting the recording now uh, what is the idea of the build? As with the last time, I figured uh, I will give a bit of an introduction for the relevant uh, trees, F not for every single tree. The idea is we have chosen as a race the Red Guard. And the Red Guard as a race is one that has poison resistance per se. So Mephala gives us poison resistance, the Red Guard gives us poison resistance, which is really why the Serpent Stone uh, uh, immunity to poison isn't fully needed. Instead, what we, um, what, uh, we do is we want to increase poison damage. Now, similar to the Forsworn that we have seen in the last episodes, 
I want to use two-hand wielding in order to apply as much poison as possible. So we're going to go into one-hand uh, damage. Already got the plus 20% perk here. And we'll then focus on potentially not daggers because I want to use that in a future build. But maybe it, it is uh, daggers. Maybe it is a sword focus. Um, red guards do have faster swing speed with uh, swords so it's very likely going to be like two sabers uh, of some sort. Uh, we might dabble and I mean really briefly dabble into marksmen uh, because we can poison both and there's nothing wrong with uh, using that on range. We are going to play with light armor so agility and specifically dodge will be our first perk. We will continue to then um, go deeper into the tree in order to deal more damage. We are going to very much uh, invest into dexterity, which originally was uh, the uh, mm, uh, the pickpocketing uh, tree. And although it still allows pickpocketing at the very beginning, and there is a middle tree here that goes all the way into uh, optimization of pickpocketing, that's really not what Ron is about. What Ron is about is the precise strikes um, increases armor penetration uh, when dual uh, wielding so we're going to go into that we're potentially not going to do knife dancer uh, because uh, we want swords i would need to look up if uh, red guards are increasing the swing speed with daggers as well so maybe it is uh, daggers or swords either way then our keyboard attacks, if we can do that, simultaneously attacking with uh, two weapons uh, increases the attack speed even further. So a lot of hits that we that we are uh, going to be able to do. Uh, this tree here is brawling, so unarmed is not for us at this point. And potentially uh, this here, maybe, maybe not. I'm, sure, I'm not sure if we would take the uh, bowstring uh, perk, so... The right one is for reduction in in bow capacity. The um, so one hand weapon, um, dexterity, evasion. We're then going into alchemy, and alchemy does have alchemic lore. Uh, you definitely need that in order to even do uh, do po uh, potions. Then we're going into concentrated poisons, which multiplies uh, the effectiveness of poison, and then eventually improved uh, poisons and since we're anyways in alchemy might as well take a couple of uh, the great perks uh, with it improved elixirs is good uh, maybe we'll get uh, regeneration if we can level it up high enough uh, the extra stamina regeneration as well as um, continuous two points per uh, second regeneration is actually quite good that wouldn't be bad either because we need to create uh, craft a lot of poisons and it's not only potions i think it applies to poisons as well uh, we likely won't get uh, to immunization very unlikely uh, this would be fantastic the final uh, perks like up here and here as well as uh, the fortify muscles are just stat perks so alchemy is really decent i think for the starter we potentially go this 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 and poisons like four will be fair uh, fair enough we're not going to go into any of uh, the magical schools ron is a non-magical guy but we're potentially going into smithing to increase our weapons and temper uh, with them and we may go a little bit into sneak maybe not a hundred percent sure depending on how many uh, points we have left over the run today is going to start uh, the oh we are starting with the aspiration to become the leader of uh, the uh, dark brotherhood which is the assassination guild so ron is not a good guy as you can imagine and he's really taking on that challenge in uh, order to uh, actually become the listener and uh, successfully go through the entire quest line if we make it through the entire quest line then that will be a win for the death diaries but before we do that let's uh, let me set up the ui and then we can give it a go okay so let's see what ron has in his inventory we are shipwrecked so 
All we really got is a woodcutter's axe, a gold necklace, which we found. We found uh, one inside potion, a few apples and an iron ingot. So we're not necessarily well equipped. The start uh, for uh, the shipwreck is actually quite, uh, up here, which is just far, far into no man's land. Good, we need some food, some decent food that is. We can use all of this. Don't necessarily need the bread. And also don't need the apples. That's just extra weight. You will see me uh, picking up some of uh, the uh, some of uh, the materials in between uh, sessions. I will do a bit of alchemy. It tends to be not the most enjoyable uh, thing to watch, so I'll be careful not to do too much of it. But uh, since it's such a core item for what we're trying to do. We actually need to get that done right. Got a loot there, uh, which is helpful. Garlic is helpful. And uh, the tunic will not really be helpful for us. Yeah, our fur armor is better. Fantastic. Off we go. I think, to be honest, I almost prefer the dagger. Yeah, we're not power attacking with it, but I almost prefer the dagger because it is so lightweight and hence uh, will not take a lot of stamina to use. Good. We are out in the sea. I hope no one has a par paranoia of deep sea uh, swimming because that would not come in handy. We got Minoring of Destruction and Extreme Restoration. Well, that is some phenomenal loot right there. Unfortunately, we're not doing either. We got some nice salmon gloves with extra magicka almost motivates me to to give him some magicka but well it won't happen he's an uh, a pure martial guy so i'll swim to the shore and we'll take it from there yes we are approaching the shoreline Boy, he can't even run. As we're approaching the shoreline, all we find is a single merchant. The start here, up in and around Dawnstar, is a pretty harsh one, specifically if you do have uh, survival mode uh, activated, because you are almost certain to freeze to death. Yeah, that's pre-owned, and unless we're stealing something, that's not going to work out. We got a couple of items, uh, though. Let's uh, take an assessment. Iron Dagger, Staff of Fireballs, definitely is helpful. We have no healing. Uh, no healing so far. Oh, we do have a ranged weapon. And fire tends to be super helpful in the colder climates. But let me get on the other side there. Because Ron has spotted a tower. I might be able to get some items at least. Good. We got a couple of uh, flowers here, which is great. 
we can at least use them and let's sleep to get the well rested bonus that gives us magicka and stamina regeneration which is much needed plus we're going to eat our aged cheese that at least gives some other uh, regeneration as well Good, we're near Dawnstar. Going to be a really quick visit because there's not much for us to do here yet. With a bit of money. Might as well take the boat to Solitude. But before we do that, we need more equipment. And I do have just an idea where we can uh, get set equipment. There are really not that many optional quests around here. What is it? I haven't had much sleep. If you don't mind digging, I own the... He offers us to get uh, into the uh, into the mine, which we will do. I'll just loot real quick and come out again. Good. After a little bit of digging, we got ourselves two flawless sapphires and almost 20 ore, which is a decent start. What is it? I haven't had much sleep. I'll buy everything you've dug up. 500 seems pretty decent good the next thing that we want to do is we want to get a few potions pest and mortal is the only shop that is selling anything in here the mortar and pestle makes potions if you can't tell from the name just step up to the well, we we can't get anything no, in specific any bad dreams so don't ask new wind everyone they say a priest of mara is visiting the wind keep my it's quite but we can't help her normally they all have after he died. oh wait well aren't you sweet i'd be happy to give you some alchemy training in exchange well, I would love alchemy training. That's exactly what we want. Um, that quest will take us to the Shrouded Grove, which is down here. Might as well uh, do it. Why not? Here's a few nice items uh, there. Um... But for now, so you're we're in my actually uh, wanting to uh, purchase something. Let's see, we got 700. Healing potions, lots of them. And I think that's it. Uh, we need the remaining money to get around. There is one more location that I'd like to hit before we're... Uh, before we're continuing. Um, I mean, I could try to, I guess, sell the rest of the items and get another quest. Uh, let me show you another one that we can do from the beginning. But we first need a proper weapon because the dagger is really cutting it. All right, typically there are a couple of merchants here. And they do have a few problems that you can help with, but it seems that the Khajiits have moved on. I'm well aware that I've given up on the food buff, but that's okay. I do have another food that we can use. I would like to get that other quest and some mo more money. Okay, apparently they are gone for now. Strange. So at the coastal shoreline, there is still something more for us to be looted.
respectively some battles to be won. We leave the honkers alone and our target should be a nice little troll cave which is over here. Luckily we got that fire staff. go Ron scored his first kill took a bit but we got some juicy juicy rewards here might as well be able to sell that troll hide that cost us half of the staff right ah, a third but okay we could take on another troll if needed Free skill book and remarkable healing, some soul gems, not bad, decent. Let's go into the potions, we're favoring this and I took some of the blue mountain flowers as well. Good. There is still more that we can get at the shoreline. Unfortunately, that wreck over there doesn't really include a lot. I was hoping when I prepared this run that the wreck over there would include a few bandits so that we could have a nice little coastal skirmish. Unfortunately, that is not the case. This house here is almost barren and nothing is in there, but there are a couple of smaller food-related items. as well as these nice little potion of resist frost. Good, our first real pair of enemies, you wolves. All right, one wolf down. But you can already see we're not uh, really built to take a lot of beating. Can open that lock. And our poison at the beginning doesn't really do a, lo a whole lot. Luckily that other wolf is just gonna go away. The dagger has the shortest of all ranges, so I think we're going to use that woodcutter one more time because there is still something more that we need to do. Here is where we find our first real weapon. Of course, in true fashion. It is being protected by a couple of guards. Gotta watch my stamina. Holy shit, that is so bad. But I do have an idea. Mud crab, mud crab. And there we go. That is actually regenerating stamina. Good, once more, we gotta get that stamina regeneration going and let's see if the dagger is doing better. It's at least not costing as much stamina, so I suppose 
Stamina is really just uh, the woodcutter's axe is really just the worst uh, version. Good, got an alteration increase here, and we definitely got the weapon that we wanted the scimitar. There we go. That's our new reliable and super fly looking weapon. Got a scimitar. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to set over to solitude because that's the only thing that we can do. See you in a sec. Good, I decided instead of uh, being immediately off to Solstein, I much rather would stay here and get ourselves a little bit more money. Yeah, come on. These dreams are real, I tell you. Real. You're wrong to come here. We got iron ore. Everything you've dug up. Fantastic. Good. Mm -hmm. That also solves our encumber encumbrance problem. We got another 500 uh, gold pieces. I think I'll buy two poultresses. And by the way, I also went to the uh, inn and asked for any leads. So we got a couple of bandits here in Fort Fellhammer. I think that's a more appropriate start. We can always go back to Sol um, Solitude afterwards. All right, this is next morning. Time for us to move. If you one of them stole my moon amulet, you be careful. I missed my amulet, but a life cannot be replaced as easily. Good. We get a couple of quests here. Yes. Now we don't need speech training, and we sell the rem remaining stuff that we don't need. Soul gems, great, but currently not needed. I'll potentially hold on to that. Never know when you might need it. All right, he's out of money. Well, fantastic. Does he have anything that we need? Complete garage sale. Well, maybe the poisons are great, but the price is just ridiculous. I'll take a healing uh, potion. Give you the loot. But we don't need the ring of destruction. We don't need most of that stuff. Yeah, we're good. All right, so we got everything that we need in order to start moving. We have a few quests. His ring is very, very far away, so I'm not sure if we're going to get to uh, there. But we're definitely going to try to get to the first fort and have a bit bandit action. Okay, we've arrived at the camp. I do have my suspicion that they might be leveled bandits here, because that's not your typical starting spot. If that's the case, we got to be ultra careful. Good, we aggroed them. Now let's see. That guy is red, which means he's at least 10 levels above us. Two-handed barbarian. Fast. That might be a problem. Poison spit on him. Open. 
but we're going to slash one slash at a time. Nice. Good. Are we missing anything? I think we had a full set of armor, didn't we? I like the Alakir ones from a look better, but looks only get you so far. We got, we need armor upgrades. Can't go with uh, iron, I don't want uh, heavy armor. Okay. So one of them is down. Our poison uh, works okay so far, but we're still level one, so it will become better over time. Trying to get a second one of them to come out. Or trying to get a ranged weapon either way would work for me. Hearing arrows. Ah, uh, this distance is a bit of a problem. Trying to really get to max distance and we need to deplete the arrows. It's a annoying tactic, but what am I supposed to do? They are likely going to one-shot us. What kind of arrows are we dealing with? Iron, okay. Well, there's a third one right up there. Oh. Shock bolts, fantastic. Requiem does uh, have a drop off for projectiles, which makes it difficult for anyone to hit on this uh, particular distance but it's also damage drop off so even if they were to hit us we might even survive one hit it's about minus 20 percent on uh, maximum distance yep that's how a single hit looks like Let's hide out for now and try to regenerate some health and we're going to continue. Wow, this is tough as nails. At least now we know a single arrow would not immediately kill us thanks to the health increase. Good, here we are. Round two. Three more bandits left. Problem with these guys is they hit incredibly hard. Can't really charge in. But we could. Tell you what, you start running so I can stab you in Break his weapon. There we go. Poisoning it her. Again poisoning her. Nice. 
yes, the poison triggers her motivation to attack. Great. Very good. Cool. Wait a second. Hide bracers. I think that's an upgrade right there. Yes, please. Good, some soup. For braces, we already have that. Shock arrows, or shock bolts, rather. Yeah, we can't charge in. That would be suicidal. But we can let them waste their ammunition. Crossbows hit extra hard against unarmored or lightly armored targets. What kind of bolts are they using? Let's see. Okay. Well. Close, very close. Ooh, he ha he almost has a shot. Can we hide? Doesn't know that we're here. All right, crossbow gone. Scale bracers. They aren't bad. Well made scale boots. Well made leather armor. This guy might have been our savior. So let's see. We got scale bracers 57. I think we're going to go with them. Scale boots. Tiny bit more weight, but. Overall, uh, we we are okay so far. Well made leather armor. Good. This is ultra light armor. And we got a crossbow, which I think isn't the worst option for us. To be entirely honest, it actually makes sense. Let's just double check if the others... I'll double check if the others have arrows as well. Okay, I could muster seven bolts, which is better than nothing. And so far... We nicely ambushed all of uh, the bandits. Got some decent gear upgrades. Not sure if there is an inner area. If that's the case, then 
Might not have enough uh, firepower to go through all of it yet. Let's check the top first. I don't want to be ambushed afterwards. Fortunately, just arrows, not the bolts, which we would need. As a backup um, archer, so someone who's engaging with arching, uh, with archery, uh, but, but not uh, mainly focusing on range DPS, I found the crossbows to be a bit better. Good, we're, we need to drink a potion. We still got some more uh, resources left, so we're actually not as bad off as I was thinking we would be. All right, off into the prison. What was that? What's that? Over here. Time for us to take it outside. Are these guys following? Potentially not. Yeah, we can't go in. That would be a death sentence right away. Too bad. With enough kiting, that would have been possible. However, that's not the only entrance. Let's try this one. Alright, same deal. Let's take them to the outside. This time it has worked. Already seen a few hit point bars. Why aren't they following? Hmm. Let's try the commander's quarters. We are silent enough that we're not immediately causing issues. Holy shit, okay, GG. We're getting out of here. Ice Atronach, not happening. Oh boy. Well, we got a potion of resist frost. So if we wait out the ice atronach, might be able to take the mage. And if that is our bounty, that definitely would be a victory. We are fast enough to get to the mage. It's more a question of being able to power attack it down. I don't know if the Frost Atronach was a scroll or, or if uh, the mage actually casted it. If it's a letter, then we have no business dabbling with them. I tell you what, we have no business dabbling with them. Rom the Snake is a coward and an idiot because he has raided the wrong fort. <laughs> no! Fort Fellhammer was your target, dude. And so begins the walk of shame. At least we got some equipment out of it for now. We do have 
three more potions. Which we can use to our advantage. I'll see you at the fort. Okay. We are at the fort. Only two of the enemies do have red outlines. Which means they are 10 level or more above us. We do have plenty of archers yet again. Not a surprise. Yep, and they do have special ammunition. Got a steel arrow right away. I think we gotta regenerate a bit. Don't want to waste our potions. That really didn't help, did it? Per hit, we're losing one potion. I mean, we do have okay economy. We could do other stuff, but for now, this here would give us a fat bounty if we manage to kill all of them. And if we wouldn't have insisted in rushing into that other port, I tell you what, thinks uh, we would have had enough potions to do all of them and get the bounty. I will wait for the first of them to come here. Might be exactly that archer. Who is overextending a bit. High level archer, 10 levels above us. trees and cover else this is not going to work out well an archer two of them so I can't charge in they cover each other I like the AI that yeah and we need to drink a potion it's unfortunate but else we are going to die so we are out of potions now that was our best healing potion is a slight upgrade. I'll take it. Oh. 
There we go. Ron doesn't fuck around. But Ron unfortunately also doesn't have any more healing supplies left. So we need to find a way of uh, regenerating health. I'll wait out uh, that healing polis and we'll gather some some berries i suppose we got 800 gold so we could buy more healing potions but we would need to get to a merchant first an alchemist all right see you in a bit good after half an hour of uh, running around and collecting herbs i started brewing my own potions not great but they are okay and we got a lot of them i also uh, brewed a few fortify health potions one of which i already drank and for a longer period of time they should continue regenerating quite a bit we purchased with all of the gold available two really good potions for emergencies and i'm pretty sure we can't level up yet so we're broke as broke can be but we're still alive ron the snake is not going down that easy since it's the next day time to shed our skin again and time for us to uh oh Oh uh oh still two archers Go so that's a miss The other one is trying to get closer to us Stupid uh, method, I know, but there is only so much I can do against archers in light armor. What we could do is... We could let them miss and then retaliate. Come on. Damn, the other one is keeping us in check. I need to simultaneously miss for me to take a shot. Come on. Yeah, when it comes to ranged combat, that's more my forte, is what he says. Time for you to die. Are you really stuck there? Good. 
Good. Drinking one of our self-made potions. Leatherhead well made is certainly something that we could use. I think that's an upgrade, right? Yeah, right there, upgrade. Longbow iron bolts. Yeah, we need bolts and not arrows. Okay, we... It took us a while, but we got the exterior floor secured. There's someone here. Time to end this little game. That's it. That's all you got. Ron goes in and out. They call him the mosquito. There we go. Got the key, got the inside potion. We don't need heavy armor, but we need healing potions. Lots and lots of them. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're taking the wheat. We can use that. It's an excellent item. Iron great swords, no thank you. Orcish dagger, on the other hand, yes, thank you. Let's see, we're a bit over when it comes to carriage weight. Okay, there's still the lower section. I'm wondering if if it would be a good idea to go dual wield. Uh, not in the slightest. We need way more perks in order to make that work. For now, Ron is single hand only. Ron the snake. What are we dealing with? 10 points of damage. Heavy armor. And I'm hearing a lot of footsteps in the background. Let's take that outside. Our bolt did almost zero damage. Poison is nicely stacking. But one power tech from him 
and we're almost down. Okay, we're at half health. And we got a couple of archers against us. Careful, behind us is another Ken. And ultra careful, we're out of stamina. I think I have a couple of ingredients that give stamina. There we go. Better than nothing. Yeah, there is another camp right behind us. My memory serves me well, but it's the Silver Hand, which we fought with Hamza. But contrary to Hamza, Ron does have nothing going for him at the moment. Did I just aggro them? Oh yeah, I did. Well, now we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Figuratively. Hope the silver hand is not going to join us here. I don't need more trouble. See, that's how much they hurt when they hit once. Could have waited those five arrows. Okay. Four down. And hopefully that will conclude this adventure here. Iron ore. We would want to get a lot of money. Well, it's actually quite a bit of iron ore, but we don't have enough carriage. Heavy armor is not what we need this time. This is the trap that I was talking about. Someone of them must have uh, sprung that trap. More iron ore. I tell you what, I'll look for chests and so on. And we're seeing each other at the next uh, destination. Okay, we're close to the next destination. We made it all the way down here to the Shrouded Grove. Let's hope that there is no Spriggan. Because then I can not deal with it. Of course. Every grove has a spriggan. 
but I do have an idea. I just so happened to run into the old orc here. And that guy is tough as nails. That? Yeah, that's a Spriggan, dude. <laughs> Just one shot them? Okay, I hate using NPCs for my dirty work, but Ron is a weasel. And as such, he has no regrets in doing that. Did this brigand die somewhere here? Oh yeah, here we go. Spellbane root, that is cool. That is fantastic. Unfortunately, a little bit on the heavy side. Okay, there is still a bear. But I think if we leave him alone, he should leave us alone as well. Apparently not today. We'll use the good old... Trick with the trees. Never get caught out with a bear without standing at a tree. Moving up to that tree. Can't defend himself very well from behind. That's why I'm trying to get to his flanks. And they love to sprint. Which means as long as we're dealing with the very much telegraphed attacks, we can get down a bear. Fantastic. Unfortunately, the heart is way, way too heavy. So you're hopefully not telling me that I have to actually get into that cave, right? That's not what you're what you meant to say. Find ring of pure mixtures at the cave. Oh. Let's check it out. At the first sign of trouble, I'm out of here. Paper cat is a bit above our pay grade as well. But we can get one down with a tree, not in the open. Okay, that... it's just not working out yet. I think we should go back and in our reward. And then take the ship to Solitude, start making some more potions. That's what I'm going to do. Time to get the bounty. Unless you're here to solve. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Nice. Here Another spoiled. potion of insight. Dawnstar has a history of being this. Good. Time to to battle the increase Good. our skills. The and I think what we're going to do right. first and foremost is evasion to twenty.
got it to 15, which is okay, and I think we even got a level. Well, close to a level. Next up, we're going to drive to Solitude. The way that I would want to do that is by using the official boat route. And Solitude itself has just so many um, alchemical items. Plus we can start brewing a couple of po uh, poisons there. Looking to hire Where are you headed? Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. I will. Good, nice little travel there. Okay, so we made our way to Solitude. It was quite a journey. R rode over with the boat, uh, mm, scarred the entire region for uh, mm, ingredients that we can use for our potions. And I can only tell you, Alchemy is a fantastic skill if you really dive into it and get used to it. I was able to create quite a few potions, uh, was sticking with the poison damage uh, theme, have sold the ones that were not really helpful, got one fortitude poison, uh, a bit of uh, stamina regeneration, and I uh, still could make some healing potions as well. And we got uh, one of each resist potion with the exception of uh, fire there, we got another one. So really were kitted out for the next episode uh, couldn't really upgrade any weapon put some gold in my new uh, stash as always i am keeping one location where i would uh, put everything in in this case it is just in here with uh, the trader uh, the remaining uh, equipment that i'm not using uh, as well as any excess ingredients are being stored in here which really uh, gives us a bit more carry weight uh, that uh, that we can use to our advantage okay so the last thing that i would want to do before we're ending today's episode is increasing skills yeah no more skills to increase i did not get any insights and that concludes the first adventure of Ron the Snake. If you like Ron the Snake or Ron the we Weasel, as he was called by his friends, uh, consider weaseling yourself to the like button and show it and click it. So maybe Ron's diaries will be continued and written. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you hopefully in the next episode. Bye bye.